Hi, welcome to Tech World Labs. This is Jason Jacobs and Ben Weber. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the new 7950 overclocked edition from Sapphire. This is definitely an enthusiast level card with a price tag of about $480 or so. $480. So you're definitely going to want a good size case with a good cooling solution such as our level 10 GT here. Uh, let's take a look at the actual card. It is a large card with a dual, a dual fan cooling solution, five heat pipes. Um, a word on the cooling solution, Ben, during testing, uh, stress testing with Firmark, was unable to get this card to go uh, higher than... About six degrees, so six, seven degrees Celsius, over three monitors. Considering the power requirements of this card and the aggressive nature, uh, that is quite an accomplishment for Sapphire. Uh, another benefit of this card is it comes with dual BIOS and what's hard to see here is there is a very very small switch up at the top of the PCB that allows you to choose between uh, BIOS number one and BIOS number two. First BIOS is obviously a standard profile allows you to overclock but to a certain degree within a power envelope and voltage envelope. Uh, number two BIOS will allow you to choose a more aggressive setting, higher overclock and of course a more aggressive fan setting to compensate for the heat. Um, this is in comparison to the last generation card, the 6850 Vapor X, a much larger card, as you can see. Both of these are dual slot solutions, but the uh, 7950 is almost an inch longer. Both require six pin PCIe uh, power connectors. The new 7950 is a generation three PCI Express three card. Um, as an example, the power of this card, uh, during our testing, Ben was able to run Battlefield 3 across three monitors, which is 260 by 1200 total uh, resolution. And the minimum frame rate never dropped below 27, an average about 33 or so FPS. That is an amazing co accomplishment for such an aggressive title like Battlefield 3 across three monitors. Uh, as always, stay tuned to our website very shortly for a full review on this card and all of the benchmarks, including our performance and our conclusion www.techrelabs.com. Stay tuned for the full review and uh, more content from us shortly.